In one corner we have one of the world's greatest vintage designs. This is the old recording. This is from my own personal collection. And this is an amazing trumpet. In the other corner we have Excalibur, we call it, which is a completely handmade, custom, brand new, well, this is a couple years old, but new modern Adams A5 trumpet. What's gonna be better? The vintage horn or the modern horn? Is there even gonna be a difference? Stay tuned to this video and I'll talk a little bit more in depth about what I think the whole battle versus vintage versus modern is. Hey everybody, it's Trent Austin from Austin Custom Brass. I hope you're having a fantastic day out there today. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button. Stay up to date with us on our YouTube channel because we always have fun, cool, quirky little videos like the Will the 125 year old cornet play, which I'll link right here. Will uh, you know the $800 piccolo trumpet versus the $5,000 piccolo trumpet? And I constantly get this question. Will a vintage trumpet perform as well as a modern trumpet. It is the question, isn't it? It's the question a lot of us ask. And I'm gotta be a, I gotta freely admit, I'm a huge fan of vintage instruments. Absolutely love them. Uh, I have such great vintage trumpets in my collection like this old recording, which is just astonishing. I have an amazing Besson, great cons, you name it. Uh, but a modern trumpet, let's just be honest, if you compare a 1968 Ford Mustang with a 2020 Ford Mustang, the aesthetic of the 1968 might overtake it. Steve McQueen car, super cool, it's totally badass, right? Performance is better in the 2020. The mileage is better, the safety is better, the stereo is better, the braking is better, the creature comforts are better. We can really take that and put that into a vintage versus modern equivalency. The only issue that we have, for the most part, is that most vintage instruments have been played to death. So today's video, I'm taking a fully, beautifully restored, with all new valves, like perfect compression valves, uh, old recording, and playing it against this Adams. So I'm going to do a few tests so you can check them out. Hopefully you'll dig this video and make a decision on your own. Please post in the comments what you think. So let's start with a little bit of a Charlie A tune. First I'll start on the Adams. Let me turn down my microphone a little bit here. Let me adjust the tuning on each one. And yes, the first note I missed, that's not the instrument, that's me. So let's take that out of account. But listen to the tone. This is an unaudited, uh, unaudited, unedited video and totally raw sound. So you're getting a very clean representation of what the instruments sound like. So let's do now, we're gonna go start on the old and then go to the atoms. Again, I really want you to post your comments and talk about what you hear. Remember, this is not a 
fancied, you know, ribbon mic studio uh, um, audio you're hearing. This is just pretty much raw, lo-fi audio. Okay, now we'll play uh, um, a little bit on a, a jazz tune on the Adams first, and then on the Olds. <laughs> play a bit of uh, a ballad so you can hear the sound of the two horns. First on the olds. the same on the atoms. You might ask why I picked these two instruments. Well, I'll be very blunt in saying that this Adams A5, which is for sale, I call it Excalibur. It was a horn I helped build with Neil Adams and the amazing workers at Adams Brass a few years ago. I think this is the best Adams trumpet they've ever made. Um, and I'm tempted to pull the horn off of our web store because I love it just so much. Um, this horn, is just a fantastic playing trumpet, but it also has all of the elements of the vintage Besson, like the front facing slide, the, the side seamed bell with the thick bell bead, if you see that. I mean, it's got a lot of vintage aspects to it. And the old recording, in my opinion, is one of the best trumpets ever made, especially this particular one. So I thought that would be a good comparison of the two instruments so you could see and hear uh, the, the differences. So now I'm going to put in a slightly smaller mouthpiece. It's not my lead mouthpiece, but it's in between, and I'll play a couple pop-ish lead things so you can hear the difference of the two horns this way. First, we'll start with the Adams, and I'm going to turn my mic down a little bit more. Now a little bit of commercial playing on the horns, first with the Adams. a little bit of sample. I could give you more, but 
Uh, I think that sort of, you could hear the difference of the two horns. Please, again, post your comments. Let me know what you think. If you have a moment, hit the subscribe button. Stay up to date with us. Thanks again for your great support of ACB. I hope you all have an awesome day. Take care and keep practicing. Cheers.